Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of Mid Rank Madness. This is a game between OCB and Mouseman on Ascension to Ire, the latter edition. In the bottom left side of the map, we have the Red Terran player. It is OCB. And in the bottom right side of the map, we have the Blue Zerg player. It is Mouseman from BJFC. No idea what that stands for. But yes, it is a ZDT edition of Minrake Madness. This particular pack was screamed by, screened by Don Campbell, who composed the song at the end of this cast. There's a link in the description to his website. He's a very talented composer of songs related to StarCraft and a pretty good guy as well. All right, so Rax first, Herod of OCB after Supply Depot. Looks like Mouse Man saving up for a hatchery first. No surprise there. And hey, no gas out of OCB, which just means Marines and an expansion. But Minute Madness, hmm, Minute Madness is pretty hard to predict sometimes. SCV coming out to scout just in case. Oh, oh, all right, pool first and then an extractor here by Mouse Man. So we're actually going to get either tech up here, or get some lings out fast, and that actually, oh, double gas. Double gas opening for Mouse Man here. What is happening? What is this? What is this craziness? Immediately saturates the first extractor. SCB coming down, going to scout this thing out. There's the expansion from OCB and still no gas up for OCB either. So going to get some marine production. You need something to deal with earlylings that will, I mean, likely come out and try to kill you. No expansion OCB sees for the Zerg player. Does see the pool and does see the very quick double extractor here. So good scout from him. I mean, didn't, I'm going to assume he saw that. Oh my gosh, he didn't see it. How did you miss that second extractor? Come back. Come back, OCB. Come. He was so close to seeing that second gas. Oh, and a proxy hatch from Mouse Man at this third base location for OCB. Uh, I mean, it's where OCB wants to expand to a third at some point. He could go south as well, but I don't think he will. Okay, this is the map that has these little shiny things on the expansions, but they only show up when you look at them. Wah. See that? Oh, wait. Hang on. Come on. Don't make me a liar. There's one that... Am I going crazy? I think they only show up once you look at them on the map. And these things too. So interesting. Map making in StarCraft 2. Bunker, bunker, bunker. Three bunkers up for OCB by his natural base. What is going on? SCV waiting in vain for this expansion to go down for Mouseman. And it is natural. Nope. It is up here. It is basically up here for Mouseman. Look at him bunker up though. He is seriously waiting for some kind of crazy Ling attack to come in. I like this positioning. You get this marine production going, you fill these bunkers with marines, hard for the lings to really get anywhere, especially if you're walled off at the top, which he's not. OCB is still kind of susceptible to some kind of a ling run by, but uh, the marine count is up to four, and he, he built these bunkers too early, is what he did. He could have used those minerals on additional SCVs, on additional upgrades to orbital commands. He's getting a second uh, Vespian geyser taken, second refinery there. And what is, what are we doing down here? It's a roach warren for mouse man, very quick roach warren. Very quick double gas, has 400 gas in the bank and has spent virtually none of it to this point. So I'm not entirely sure what his plan is, but we'll watch this. We'll watch this with quite a lot of interest. We'll watch your career with great interest. Yes, yes, I know. I do this whole prequel memes thing a little bit too much. Prequel memes on Reddit and just exploded over the last two or three months, it feels like. And I, I hate the prequels, but man... It's this weird, weird thing. I don't, I don't hate them. There are some good moments. In the start of episode three, that space battle they have, that is like the most gorgeous, visually appealing space battle I've ever seen in cinema. Give me high hopes for episode three. And it wasn't a bad movie. It just wasn't as good as I would have hoped. Anyway, that's Star Wars. Everybody's seen it. Everybody knows. All right, so roaches are done. Some roaches are moving across the map. We're also getting roaches out of the larva here at this proxy hatch. Ravagers. On the way here as well. So a Roach Ravager push off of two base with the proxy hatch. This is going to be pretty strong. I am not entirely sure how OCB holds this. He's going barracks, barracks, barracks. He's making a factory, but it's not even done yet. If these Ravagers push now and just take down this bunker, I think... Well, are the Marines fast enough to hop into another bunker is the question here. And more Marines are coming in. The more Marines that get added here, the more difficult it is for Mouse Man to attack. Come on, Mouse Man, and do this thing. This is kind of one of the, uh, the characteristics of Mindrake Madness is a hesitancy to attack. Even if you're in a good spot, you don't feel quite comfortable doing it. So here we go. Cross the Biles landing in. One bunker down. Well, three, two, one. Dead. All right. Good, good. Wait for the cooldown on these Ravagers. It's done. Go back in. Hit another one. 
Hit another. Okay, two more Ravagers morphing in. That's where all this gas is going. It's going for this Ravager upgrade, which is 75, right? 75 gas. Yeah, 75 gas, 25 minerals for that upgrade there. No skins on these dudes, but still pretty awesome. So big old Roach. Holy Roach Ravager attack here. Another big old thing of Ravager. Corrosive Biles. Another bunker basically down. Is the repair going to come in or not? Okay, so now it's out with regular attacks. More Corrosive Biles landing. Hitting some of these Marines. And there's the Burrow. Oh, when did he upgrade Burrow? He upgraded Burrow when I wasn't paying attention. That's interesting. Extremely interesting. Ravager's burrowing. I haven't seen that very much. I really don't think I have. Popping out here again. Ravagers don't have the increased hit point regeneration when they burrow, but they can hide. Oh, tank on the high ground from OCB. This is what he has needed. He has needed this so bad. Roach is just getting murdered by this tank. Get him with Corrosive Bile. You got him with Corrosive Bile. You can do this thing. Come on, Mouse Man. Don't just take shots. Just, you know where it is. You know where it is. Corrosive Bile's going out to this bunker instead. Going to try to lock down this natural base out of the range of the siege tank. Not necessarily working. A Marauder and a Marine dying. SCVs. Full retreat. Command center. Orbital command. Full retreat here as well. Dude, even if you don't have vision, you know where this tank is. You know where it is. Get it. Get it with your Ravagers not doing it. Not getting it with his Ravagers at all. But the natural base for the Terran player is gone, which is bad news. It's 29 to 22 Harvesters. OCB has the lead, but he can't really do much with it because he's super oversaturated. Here it is, main. Rad rally for this Roach. Tank murders it very, very quickly. Okay, this one tank is being way too effective. Eight kills and tank on the high ground. Oh, what are these Overlords doing? Overlords trying to provide some high ground vision, but there are Marines on the high ground as well, and I think they're just going to straight up die here. Ravagers might try to take down one of these tanks with the close file. One, two, three, and the tank is gone, but there's another one. And the Marines on the high ground causing tr some troubles as well. Oh, there's an SCV in this bunker. Here are the natural base of OCB as well, so that's going to die. So OCB, 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 we might just call him, is stuck on one base. He has nothing outside of his main base here. He's got tanks, he's got Marines. I like this composition against a Roach Ravager, kind of the thing that Mouse Man's going for. Is there going to be any kind of a, uh, well, there's a lair upgrade for Mouse Man. That's going to be good. That's going to be very nice indeed. Additional approaches, just bad rallies, yo. Stop doing this rally. I don't know what base is rallied here. This natural base is what's rallied here. Marines trying to come down and take the natural, but just too many roaches, too many ravagers. The Marines have to retreat back inside their main base. This tank, two tanks now on the high ground. Three tanks now on the high ground. Can they actually hit this? They can barely hit this. There we go. So two tanks can hit this hatchery. That mouse man's thrown down. I mean, if he's just using it for production instead of mining, he might as well just put the hatch down here or like right here. Because now he's going to lose it because it is within range of these tanks on this particular map. So OCB doing a pretty good job with the map stuff right now. Uh, an expansion for mouse man's coming at his natural base. I wonder if he was planning on killing the Terran player. As he possibly could. I just feel like he could have done it. He could have done it if he'd kept pushing... Before the tanks showed up especially and just kind of waltzed on in, there really wasn't anything in the main base to stop any kind of attack from happening. Big old <laughs> roach morph though. Nine roaches at once coming in for Mouse Man of BFJC. BF... BJFC. Dang it. BJFC. Alright, tank count's at four. That's a lot of tanks. Marine count's pretty darn high as well. 22 Marines. How are their upgrades? Not good. Not great. They don't have stim. They don't have combat shield. They don't have plus one attack. There is an engineering bay, but no upgrades have gone from there yet. And is it liberator time? It is a liberator time from OCB. Double starport with reactor, but only enough money to make two total off of those two uh, reactor starports. Marines coming down to get rid of this overlord. I like that corrosive vial little, little line that he drew there on the ground. So the Marines are going to die. The tanks are having a good time. Are you going up this ramp? Don't go up the ramp! Oh my gosh, don't go up the ramp. This is so bad. Clumping up. Getting rid of a couple of the tanks is good. There are still two tanks here. Overlords could really scout these things out. I know there's a missile turret, but you don't have to get that close to see them. Five more roaches on the way. Mouse Man is just really intent on being the aggressor in this game. He's got his natural base. It's 32 to 28 harvesters. OCB is starting to get mined out. He's starting to get mined out here in his main base as well. This is not going well for our Terran player at all throwing down mules which just means you get mined out more quickly he needs an expansion even if he just kind of ninjas one maybe get a medevac fly a scv down to one of these hidden bases and get it there but so far no he is sending liberators down to murder stuff here in mouse man's natural which is going to work out pretty well for him because there's no static defense here at all and no queens how is there not a queen at the natural base i don't know all right so liberators get it sorry drones you're out reaction time by mouse man is not ideal 
Uh, he just lost eight or nine drones there. Losing some larva as well. This is the wasteland here at the natural base. The main base could have the same problem. There are spore crawlers trying to be built at some point. Uh, Liberator setting up shop at the main base now. And better reaction time there. Only losing a couple drones. Natural base still under lockdown by OCB. There's a queen in the main base, though. The queen is going to go ahead and try to knock down this uh, Liberator by herself. Stay out of the circle. There you go. Stay out of the circle. The range on these queens is so good, you guys. So dang good. All right, so Spore Crawlers are up now. Spore Crawlers are defending the main mineral line of Mouse Man. Uh, get out of the circle. You're no, go back the other way. Yes. Three shots. Three shots to kill a queen now. So that's nice. Bit of a nerf. Get back on the creep. Get back on the creep so you can run faster. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness you made it. Any spore. There are spore crawlers at the natural, but they need to replant themselves in a place that actually protects the mineral line. And now it's just a dance, man. It is a queen liberator dance, which I've danced much, many times myself, just barely getting out of there. Just barely getting out. Spore crawlers trying to burrow themselves in a place where they will get this liberator. Where's your attention? OCB losing focus and going to lose this liberator as well. Mmm, that hurts. That hurts quite a bit. It really does. Another liberator coming in from OCB. It's 28 to 17 harvesters. That's 15 drones lost for our Zerga player. Thro did throw down an expansion here at, mm, I mean, I don't know. On OCB's side of the map for sure, there's nothing going on here at all. Zero things going on here. Drones come in to try to resaturate this natural base. Got spore crawlers in good locations to prevent this from happening. This is pretty much, I mean, honestly, if, if you're OCB, do you want to drop is the question. I don't know. Overlord coming in to scout. And again, missile turret. Making quick work of that. Missile turret does die to corrosive bile. It's on fire anyway. And OCB has not really shown much interest in repairing things that are on fire. Oh, SCV maybe going to get here in time. 15 does get there. 12 hit points left and does make the save. OCB, I maligned you unfairly. Unfairly. Speaking of drops, here comes the uh, big old marine drop. Here inside the main base. That queen going to die. The queen that killed a liberator. Another attack up the front here with... Ravagers taken down supply depots and then backing on out are these Ravagers. They just don't really want to commit, which I can't blame them for at all. Marines staying off the creep, trying to kill drones, trying to kill overlords. Some roaches here to defend as well. Three roaches, but with Marines and Marauders. I don't know about that. Uh, Ravagers again trying to kill stuff from the low ground to the high ground. There is an overlord spotting this high ground here. And coming on up, those two tanks. If you cross the bile, those two tanks, you're in a good spot here. And trying to hit both of them at the same time does get both of the tanks, but I think there are enough Marauders. And Marines to clean up these Ravagers out. Wow, that's a lot of dead Ravagers there. Total number of Ravagers dead is 24 and 10 dead Roaches. So far, so good. Another Liberator shows up for OCB at the main base of Mouseman. Roaches kind of trying to get out. There we go. Deciding it is time to get out. I can't believe Mouseman has no interest in replacing Queens. This has got to be the like worst worst Queen con conscientious Zerg player of all time. Another Liberator going to die here for OCB because he's not paying attention. Moment of silence for this Liberator pilot. Because she gone. Ninja expand done by OCB. Floated an orbital command up to the top side of the map. Very top. Expansion towards the middle here. Actually bringing SCVs over to mine. And our Zerg player does not know it's there. Dude, if you have your opponent on one base, you got to keep... You got to just send lings out to every possible base they could be hiding at. Because this stuff happens. This stuff has happened to me because I was not conscientious enough. In dealing with that scouting information. Swarm. Host. Swarm. Swarm host done. A bit of a marine drop here at Mouse Man's expansion. Again, which he didn't really do anything with. Turns out he's making some swarm hosts. A couple of roaches coming down to try to deal with these marines. But they have stim. They're not using stim, but they have it. Five more swarm hosts on the way here. Is swarm host the way to go? Uh, probably. Although liberators are pretty good here. Are you just... All right, so one Liberator set up just outside the main base of OCB where that expansion hatchery, the first expansion of Mouse Man's, was. Uh, Swarm Host count is at two with six more on the way. Roaches coming to try, to try to save that hatch. They save the hatch. They actually save the hatch. All right, so Swarm Host's moving on up. There's going to be three here, and a big Swarm Host wave could actually cause some problems for OCB right now. However, this expansion dying would cause him the most problems. So the fact that it is still hidden is good news for our Terran player right now. Is that Drop Lords? He is doing, uh, yes, Drop Lords. Five, no, wait, those are just regular Overlords. Regular Overlords coming in. He's a little bit supply blocked, and now he's not. Now he is not anymore. Liberator locking down this base of Mouse Mans across the map. And, oh, does get scouted. Ling's found the base of OCBs. Okay, so this is a big deal. This is a big deal. you got to send up more units because the SCBs can clear this thing out. 
And the Ling's actually doing better than I thought. Eventually they die. Eventually they do absolutely die. Swarm host trying to do this. You throw your locust down and kill this army. Get it. Get it. Throw the locust down and kill this army. Throw the locust down. Mouse man. Do you just want to kill this instead? I guess killing this is okay. Do something with your swarm host. You're killing me. There it is. Popping them off. The locusts are down and all these SCPs are going to die. I mean, there are medevacs here. There are submarines here. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Mouse Man's Bay is going to die here as well. Locust murdering everything. Refinery is going to die. Orbital Command forced to lift off there as well. That is 29 dead SCVs. It's 10 SCVs remaining for our Terran players. Swarm host just kind of running around random places on the map here. Are they done with their cooldown? They are not. It's a long, long cooldown here. So landing, building another base here at this third base location where the hatchery initially was for Mouse Man as OCB. He's claiming it for his own. But he only has 10 SCVs remaining. And that means his army is bigger. His army is about 4,400 compared to 30. Hang on, I got this. 30. Oh, well, now it's different. 3,700 for the Mouse Man. So Swarm Host, don't walk this close. There we go. Locust tossed up and landing. And that's free kills, ladies and gentlemen, is what that is. The tank's murdering them pretty effectively, but that's a couple dead Marauders. And extra shots. Every Marine you kill is a free dead marine slowlings he doesn't even have speed this is so unorthodox this is the craziest man the midnight madness games have been nuts lately coming to the into the voids have also been really weird as well that's why i like these games that is why i enjoy them that is why i am all about casting them all right links check to make sure this expansion come back for ocb no no, it absolutely did not come back for OCB. Mouse Man is mined out of his main base and super oversaturated at his natural. He needs to expand. He has the Terran player pinned to some extent. He's just not interested in either killing the Terran player or expanding himself, which you really, really have got to do. Okay, some drones are moving out here to throw down expansions. Yes, throw out an expansion in his third base location just outside of his main with a couple extractors as well. Sneaky Swarm Host coming up this left side of the map. There are 22, 22 Swarm Hosts here. What are they going to do? I mean, the natural... Look at this. OCB isn't even bothering to take his own natural base. That's how weird this game is. Liberator's going to scout this out. Whether OCB sees it or not, I don't know. If you get those locusts right on top of this army right here, you will kill it. But I think the locusts are instead going to go for the main. And they are. They're landing. They're killing missile turrets. Look at them all packed in there. Take it down. Uh, missile turrets and barracks and all sorts of things. Factory probably going to fall here as well. <coughs> is it down? It is down. It's going to burn down. Anyway, a bit of a drop here with a lot of Marines from OCB. No upgrades on them. They do have the stim. Uh, going to go after this main base. It's might turn into a bit of a base race here, although the Swarmhose are coming back home a little bit to try to save things. The spawning pool going to die. I don't think that Mouse Man cares. He has made a grand total of 10 wings in this game, which is not a lot. Not even a tiny, tiny bit at all. And again, the expansion is done for Mouse Man. The Terran players see that on the way over. He didn't see it on the way over. How? I don't know. Roach is coming in. Swarm host here as well. I, this is where you pick up. Pro tip from Falcon Paladin. You got Locust on the ground. Pick up and get out. And he is. He is getting out now. It is OCB. And just using this mobility against the Swarm host. So main base has a big chunk in it taken out of it buy locusts right now production facilities if they do die that's pretty good news but i feel like you just use all of your swarm hosts launch all of your locusts on this little tank marine army right on top of them and i think you just win because that natural base will die that's a planetary oh it's a planetary fortress which helps which does help <laughs> i don't know anyway we've got uh eight kills on this swarm host zero two five on this one, and here we go again. La no, launch it. Don't walk in there and launch it. Just launch it. Oh, lost a couple swarm hosts unnecessarily. Oh, and they landed too soon. They landed too soon, but they're coming down anyway. Coming on down this ramp, gonna take out one of the tanks. Another one getting focused down as well. And the Marauders, the remaining target. So losing those tanks, a big deal, but there are still Liberators in the sky. Losing no swarm hosts was not good. Five swarm hosts, just cause he walked too, too, too close to the tanks, man. Too close to the tank. This is still close. Too blah, blah, blah. This is still too close to call, you guys. Replacement infestation pick coming up for Mouse Man. He wants more of these swarm hosts. Drop coming into this third base might accidentally have scouted it. It did OCB. Good drone pull from Mouse Man. Actually getting out of there. Actually getting out of there. 163 average APO for OCB. 116 for Mouse Man. Throughout this game. Ah, oh, bad drone pop here at this third base for Mouse Man. A lot of drones are going to die. 
hatchery as well. What can save it? A lot of roaches can, that's for sure. Holy smokes. That's 17 roaches. Going to force a pickup and a leave from OCB. Here come the locusts. They're going for the main base. And they're going to do it. All right, so it's locusts trying to land and kill some things. Why are they targeting? They're targeting missile turrets. They're targeting this command center that's being built here. Supply Depot's dying as well. Is it going to be enough to supply block or Terran player? Probably not. Where are you locusts going? Ugh, trying to get some shots off in the orbital command. Forcing a lift off on it anyway before they die. This is, <laughs> this is such a weird game. Such a weird game indeed. Uh, some drones from Mouse Man. Mouse Man has 1,200 minerals and 1,000 gas. 1,000. Also known as 1,000 gas. Also known as 1,000 gas. They're going to come back and mine from this third base where there are a bunch of roaches. Army total for OCB is not great. It's 19 marines. It's five marauders and it's seven liberators. He's making more liberators, which I think he feels like it's a saving saving grace here. I don't know. Mouse man gonna send another wave of locusts out to where I think you can take this base down, dude. I think you can get it. Here we go. Locust into the sky. Oh, and landing on these marines on the high ground again. That's not good. It's better when they can swoop in in this situation. Because look at them. They're taking forever to wander down into this area. They are killing a lot of the ground units for OCB, though. A lot of dead marauders, a lot of dead marines at the same time. Planetary Fortress having a field day. 21 kills on that PF. OCB trying to expand again to that one place he tried earlier. It's not... It's not going to work. It's not going to work, man. Ling's actually already here to hit that thing. OCB, lift off. Lift off. There we go. Send. You know what you could do is just send a single liberator over. And lock it down, because I don't think there's anything that can shoot... Oh, a lot of Ravagers. Never mind. A lot of Ravagers. I think he turned all of his Rotus into Ravagers. 19 to 19. Yep. Yes. All right. So 17 <laughs> Ravagers on the ground. Our Zerg player is doing crazy stuff, but it looks like he might actually pull this thing off. Ravagers coming up to see if this Orbital Command is still here, and it's not. And it is not. He's flying it back home. He is retreating with it right now. Locust going for one more big Swarm Host attack against this third base of OCB. They're going after the Planetary Fortress. There we go, getting that nice surround action. Look how fast it dies. The repair is too late, and it does end up falling. A lot of the locusts die, but that's, I mean, that's it for that Planetary Fortress. There are still two orbital commands here for OCB, though. So, I mean, you can still mine. It's long distance and it's not efficient, but get out of here. Swarm host, what you doing? Oh, I guess there's a drop. Marine drop here at the third base from OCB. 37 drones have been killed. It's 19 to 25 harvesters. This is the lowest, the lowest econ game of all time. Ravagers are here, though. I don't know that OCB has an answer for this. I really don't. Roaches versus Marines. Again, the Marines have no upgrades to speak of. Medivacs are healing them, however. Ravagers doing cross the biles on Liberators. Bam. Not going to be good against, I mean, the Marines themselves are not going to be great in the situations. You're kind of pinned in a little bit here. These Marines are still doing stuff, man. Eight kills, three kills, seven kills. He's a Corporal. So is this one with nine kills, killing a bunch of Overlords. The Ravagers just kind of trying to dance back and forth. The Marine count is falling faster and faster for OCB. A refinery on fire here as well. Liberator setting up shot. That means Corrosive Biles can kill them. If you can't move, you're going to die to a Liberator. Or die to a Corrosive Pile, rather. If you can't move, you'll probably also die to a Liberator. It's bad news. Finally, the Roaches clear out the Marine infestation inside their own base. Get out is what they say. Got another big thing of locusts flying into the main base. Going going after production facilities. Both orbital commands are gone. That might be the final orbital command of OCB. L locusts taking down the starports. Going after reactors. Going after supply depots and engineering bays and barracks as well. And they're finally all gone. And that's it. OCB with the rage quits. OCB is defeated. And Mouse Man is your victor today. <laughs> What a crazy game. What a just ridiculous, ridiculous episode of Midrank Madness. It was fun, though. It was fun, man. Swarm hosts and Ravagers and Burrow Roach. That's I think that's all he made in this game. He had, again, like 10 Zerglings, but that's it. Otherwise, and a single queen. Did he make a single queen in this game, too? Two total queens in this game. So, so unorthodox. Uh, Terran player, again, mostly just ended up losing, uh, having Liberators at the end. Five Liberators there. He lost nine throughout the game. 83 Marines. 23 roaches died, 7 swarm hosts, 30 ravagers, 2 hatcheries, and 37 drones of the 48 SCVs that were killed. 18,000 resources lost for the Terran compared to about 13,000 for Mouse Man. So effective, and if you can make it work at these lower levels, more power to you. 
All right, so that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of Mid Rank Madness. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.
watch over you Thank you.